goes on. I got a phone call just to go live. Anyway, uh, I'm Brandon. This is the Dirt Church Devotional. I'm sure that you have heard the phrase, uh, there's two sides to every story. And that's true. There's at least two sides. You know, there's two sides to every experience as well. And I'll call those two sides perspective. And and I think the uh, the joyfulness of your attitude, the experience of your life is going to be de determined uh, by your perspective. So let me let me just tell you a little story about perspective. So last Friday, uh, I got to go riding, and it was I was looking forward to it. It was great. A good buddy of mine, Eric Johnson, came down from his place. We hadn't ridden together in quite some time. And uh, so we had this opportunity to go riding. And as always, we prayed before we took off. I think that's a great idea. Well, we got about a mile down the road and I said, hey, pull over, take this turn, pull over. I need to check, make sure I threw my uh, socks in. I got some waterproof socks because my boots are blown out. And so as he was slowing down to turn in, we heard a crash and the bikes actually fell off the trailer and got dragged for, you know, 10 feet or so. But when that happened, it ground down my, my Bark Buster. I mean, it, it took it down, oh, I don't know, eighth of an inch. So that was kind of, that was kind of a bummer. <clears throat> We're loading the bikes back up and my buddy's like, oh man, that's so frustrating. And I said, you know, that's, that's true. But I said, hey, think about this. Sometimes the absolute best answer to prayer is absolutely nothing at all. Oh, what do you mean? I said, well, look at this. I mean, when absolutely nothing happens, that might be God protecting you. So, okay, a bike falling off isn't exactly nothing, but think about this. The bikes fell off, they're dirt bikes, they fall down, big deal. They fell off, we pick them back up. We don't have any idea what God has kept us from, what accident we didn't get into. You know, it's stuff that we're never gonna know. It's nothing, nothing happened. So, we say, all right, that's great. Well, we secured the bikes, we took off. We got back down to, got on down to Jones Creek to do some riding unloaded the bikes my handlebars were a little bit bent whatever that's not going to stop you right so we take off and we're cruising along pretty soon we get down to uh down to a hill climb and we decide to play on that so i zip up it he comes up and we're sitting there talking and i mean it's a beautiful day it's november what was it november 9th 8th whatever it's friday and uh it's 70 degrees 70 degrees in western washington in november we're sitting up on top, we're talking, we're laughing, we're having a great time. I decided to run the hill a couple more times just out of fun. I go down, come up, say, hey, I'm gonna do it one more time. I go down and I'm coming back up. And, uh, well, I don't know, ran out of skill, whatever. <laughs> and I get almost to the top and the bike decides not to go anymore. Bike goes one way, I go the other. I crash and uh, the result of the crash, I, I broke my wrist and broke my handlebars. You guys see that? I don't know if I can get this. Broke my handlebars. They just broke right off on the, on the throttle side. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, so I'm talking about perspective, right? I could be whining. I could be upset. It's a bummer. My bike is broke. I'm broke. I'm in pain. Whatever. But rather than have that negative uh, perspective on it, you know what I did? I started laughing. I said, you got to see this. My handlebars are broke. So we drag the bike down, start looking around. First thing we notice is my utility knife is missing out of my pack, and he has taken his saw out of his pack, uh, actually in the parking lot there. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I look around. There is a stick laying there that is just the perfect size for my handlebars. You can see my nice little, I don't know, nice little fix there. There's a perfect size stick for my handlebars. We whittle that down with, with some pliers and jam it in there, find a rock, jam it in, jam the other side of the handlebar back on there. I've got some hose clamps, we put it back together. We get the bike running and next thing I realize is, hey, I've been out here, but I don't really know how to get back without going on the trail. I don't wanna really ride on the trail, it's a long way. I've got it like a quarter of a bar just enough that I can bring the maps up on my phone. It tells me we're three miles away from the parking lot, it tells me what turn to take. We're right next to an access for the truck. So let me, let me kind of wrap this up. 
What I'm saying about perspective is I've got two options on this ride. I can either sit here and whine and grumble and complain because my bike is broke and I'm broke and blah, 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 everything's going bad. Or I can choose to say, hey, look at this. Number one, the bikes fell off the, off the truck. We don't know what we missed because of that. Number two, sure, my handlebars broke but they broke when I crashed and not causing a crash. Can you imagine if I would have been bombing down the trail, hitting, hitting some whoops or whatever, go to turn and the handlebars break then? I could have got seriously hurt. All right, sure, I broke my wrist, but it's just a wrist. I've got another one. And it's not like a terrible break, okay? I mean, it broke through its radius, but whatever. And we're right next to a road and it's 70 degrees i'm not freezing it's like middle of the day one o'clock it's not cold it's not raining which oftentimes it is in november i mean this is a good day and we go back to the truck my buddy has to load it because i'm disabled <laughs> and we go to urgent care and i get it i kid you not i wasn't there 30 minutes before they sent me over got a cast on and i go home man I had a great day. I got to ride with one of my best friends. I got to meet fine doctors I never would have met before. Let me wrap it up by saying this, okay? In Ephesians chapter four. Chapter four? Yeah, Ephesians chapter four, verse 23. It tells us this. Be made new in the attitudes of your mind. That is God's desire for us, is that we would be made new in the attitude of our mind. I tell you something, if you would allow God to make your attitude new, your life is gonna be so much more fun, so much more fulfilling. You don't have to be a glass half empty person, and don't worry about being a glass half full person. Just be thankful you got a glass and there's something in it, all right? Well, hey, that's all I got for today. Have a great day. Uh, Lord bless you. If you like this, go ahead and share it. If you don't, I'll never know. Chew on that.